So today I'll be painting another Star Wars Legion character, but with Fett, because, you know, the best looking character of all Star Wars. And this is a commission for Majestic. And let's jump straight into it. I'm gonna blue tack the rod to make sure it stays clear because I'm, I'm personally a huge fan of having clear flying bases. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna prime in black first and I'm gonna do a white to do my zenithal. Now for the highlight with my zenithal so I can get an idea of how I want to shade him. While I have the backpack separate, I'm just gonna glue on the flames. I will have to do another coat of primer because I am a genius. And let me quickly prime the flames. So starting with a paler green, I'm gonna do majority of the helmet. Because the helmet actually has two colors. Now I'm going to use a dark green to do most of the torso power plates. Now for a little bit of green on the helmet, this has to be more precise. Okay, now I'm gonna do a darker green for the cloak itself. It is very similar looking though. Similar but darker. And I can always shade it and dull down this shade later anyway, so that should be fine. So I'm painting the knee pads now using a yellow. And this part of the backpack is going to be yellow as well. Uh, a bit harder because it is very a very small area. Paint a little antenna top green as well. Okay, I'm gonna put some black into the visor. Okay, now I'm gonna do red. I'm gonna do it with the belt. Start with the belt first. Let me just check the reference picture. The right pouch is actually red as well. So I'm just gonna put that in. Helmet. Using an off white, I'm going to paint the rope. It's gonna be lightly dabbed on because it's gonna be it's, uh, just a little bit translucent. I'm not too fuss about the paint getting perfect coverage. Now with the brown, I'm going to paint the stock of the gun. I can get a good angle on it. Now I'm going to paint the utility belt brown as well. Oh, 
more so the pouches. Okay, the next thing to paint brown is the shoes. Now I gotta do blue for the backpack. Cool, now I'm gonna do some black for the gun itself. Okay, now I'm gonna do some of the red accents on the jump pack. Let's see if I can get in there without ruining everything. Or ruining anything. Okay, now I'm gonna fix up the white. I'm gonna go with a thin coat of ghost gray. Silver for the antenna. Okay, cool. And now I'm gonna paint the missile silver as well. All right, now we're gonna assemble Boba Fett back. So I can do the washes and stuff. Because having him separated was easier for doing the uh, base colors. Or blocking out the base colors. There we go. English. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, now I'm gonna do some battle damage before I do my washes. So for all the stuff that has been chipped, I'm just gonna put a little bit of silver in there. First I'm going to start with some black wash, but I mix it with some water to turn it down. As I want to have a little bit of a shading, but I don't want to overpower it because I don't want it to look dirty. I just want it to have it, you know, look just shaded. While Boba dries, I'm going to do the basing now, so I'm just going to use bit of desert sand because on the box art he's in you know no harder so thought it was, it was very fitting to use this for the basing all right now i'm gonna apply some brown wash to the base just to shade in the detail So now I'm gonna do a dry brush to highlight the ground. Cool, now I'm gonna paint the rims black to just to make it look clean. So I place both Fett back on the base, so I'm gonna do some extra dry brushing on him just to give him a little bit of a nice highlight. And also just to weather him a bit. So now I'm going to base the fire from the room. Thrust is yellow. Now I will dry brush the tips orange, just for that nice gradient. So Boba Fett was a very interesting mini to paint. He's fairly simple because it's not much like organic material except for the clothing, but the color separation is pretty wonkish because there is just so many variants of the color. For example, there is like green and light green and a darker green for the cape and 
the backpack has a lot of color separation. But overall, he turned out very nice, so I'm very happy with him. And doing the dry brush really adds to the aesthetic because that's the story I'm gonna give him. Like he's in Nell Hada, or you know, episode 5 where he dies. Is that episode 5 or episode 6? Hmm. Star Wars nerds kill me. Basically, yeah, I just wanted him to match the base, so there's like a cohesion between the mini and the base. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.